o, 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 o. I know that one guy, guy that's supposed to upgrade my satchel is supposed to be around here somewhere. Also found out that if you fall down from too great a height, I mean, if you fall down from from a good enough height, you might take damage. But if you hit the ground so hard, then you'll be blacked out. I don't think I'm gonna miss this one. Good gravy, I never expected you to bring one so quickly. I'm afraid I'm looking for a bigger one though. One that's at least two eighths would be great. Great. What? That dude's not big enough? Do you want that? Oh, height. Oh, okay. Now I know this. is two sevenths. Oh, okay.
Here in the village you can have crops grown in exchange for a fee. Here to grow some crops are you no way to tell you'll be willing but give it our all. What kind of, are you interested with this no harvest? Yeah, I'll probably go the apricorn harvest. It'll be 500. Perfect, we'll get right on. Your crops are in good hands. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been in the village, so why not take some time to explore? You completed crick great. Now let me have a look. Oh, so Cricketon produced that curious sound of theirs by hitting their antennas together. Hmm, I wonder if Advent from the supply court could get put together an instrument with similar shape to those antennas. Well for now, thanks for going out your way to solve this total enigma. Here, take these. To complete a Pokemon's page in your Pokedex, you need to catch and battle that species over and over again. Right, gosh, you're such a hard worker. Bringing mushroom. So, yeah, I could go in and out of Jubilee Village and into the fields. Anytime I would wish, like, I don't have to ju just accept a story mission to go there now. Never talk to this dude. Now nah, I want hairstyle. Here you can have a photograph of your po ever considering preserving a lo lovely memory with your Pokemon as a photographer. Come on in and give it a try. Oh, now that's a nice springy mushroom if I ever did see one. I'm glad I chose you for my request. You've got what it takes to be a fine mushroom forager. By the by, the by did you know that springy mushrooms like those ones multiply in no time? That's why you'll find them all over obsidian field lands. And they're versatile too. Fry them, stew them. They'll taste great either way. 
But I digress. Let's not go get to teaching you my recipe. I'll just use that handy workbench over there. And here you have it, the delectable mushroom cake beloved by Pokemon far and wide. Just throw one out wild Pokemon if it's partial to nice mushroom snack. You bet you could, your bomb toast will go after that cake lure. You could use that opening to make your getaway of court or of course to try to catch the Pokemon. Here I'll give you some of my own cake lure bases so you can get to crafting right away. A type of fuel provision that enhances the flavor of other foods it is mixed with. Now get out there and throw a generous note gratuitous number of mushroom cakes to lure Pokemon left and right and center. You hear? I'm counting on you to make my recipe famous. Alright, got the mushroom cake recipe. Okay, honey cake. Make at least three of those. Yeah, I'll put those away for now. Okay, those two... It says catch a big weasel. Yeah, I'm just hoping I could upgrade my brain. Oh, there's some people with requests. Oh, Splendid, you came at a good time. I'm looking for a pickling stone you see would you mind lending me a hand it needs to be the right size to fit the top of my pickle pots to, and heavy enough to put a nice firm pressure on the pickles when they're fermenting hmm. but I suppose it'll be hard for me to lift such a heavy, heavy thing from the pot the best thing would be for a stone to lift itself up actually oh I've got got a rather good idea there's a Pokemon called Geodude that lives on Deer Track Heights 
will be perfect for a job. Could you catch one and bring it for me? I'll head home and wait for you here. There are some requests posted on the block. Which will you check? The bothersome Bidoof playing with. It seems that a band of bothersome Bidoof keeps sneaking into the village and causing trouble. Talk to Sumugi from the security corps and see if he could help set things in order. It seems several people have spotted Driftloon playing with one of the ch village children. Miki from the security court can tell you more. Speak with her and get to the bomb with this. Clarissa from the security court has a request for us. Something to do with Zubat, I believe. Talk to the good lady and investigate as necessary if you please. What do you intend to do about that cleaver, Commander Kam Kamado? You may be descended from a warrior of Almighty Sinem, but look at the mess he's causing. We can't sit back and let him rage on. You do get right to the point, Adama. Time wasted is lost. Well, tell me, what would you have us do? Cleaver is a precious lord of the Pearl Clan, is he not? That's the point. My clan can't intervene directly where the lord of the Pearl Clan's concerned. If my people were to do something, our two clans might end up back at each other's throats, just like we used to be. But even folk of the Galaxy team have been wounded in Avenue, seeing someone's got to do something here. Who, then, would the Diamond Clan have the Pearl Clan bring down one of its own honored nobles? I don't believe I said that, though. I don't think I believe I said that. Thought it. Maybe. You might as well have said it, you fool. Look, we don't even know what what drove Lord Cleaver into such a violent frenzy. I'd like to know that myself. This isn't the first as far as my clan knows, too. Hmm. I see you've arrived. This is Victor, the newest member of our survey corps. Ah, uh, I hear from why you've er earned Weirdeer's favor. Good to finally meet you, stranger from the Rift. Uh, I'm Adam, and leader of the Diamond Clan, if you want to be formal. But that's just a mouthful, just call me Adam. In. If you come from beyond the space-time rift, could you be from the space where Almighty Sino is said to reside? I'm irid that the Pearl Clan caution and foresight are my watchwords. Which is why I have trouble believing such a tale. Could you really have passed through that rift? I have a proposition. Why not send this one to study clearer before deciding what, what must be done? He sent this stranger who supposedly fell from the rift to study cleaver. This newcomer from the rift to study cleaver. This newcomer with no experience says a leader with almost no experience. Being a good leader isn't a matter of time, it's a matter of embracing Kazooie's vastness without fear. Well then, there you have it. If you have if how new you are doesn't matter, then let's give the kid his chance. I'm sold, Commander. Let's try this your way. This should be fun. I'll get to see how good you galaxy folk really are. With all your weird ways, playing Pokemon in those strange balls and what have you. The whole practice bothers me. All my Sino made Hizui vast so Pokemon could live freely throughout. We're meant to stand alongside Pokemon, not count ourselves above them. We do not use Pokeballs from a desire to control our Pokemon. 
Only so that we could live together. Allow us to show you what we can do. This is your mission now, Victor. I order you to study Cleaver and help us find the truth of this situation. I accept. Remember that you are a stranger who appeared one day out of the very sky above us. People are naturally suspicious of your presence here. If you wish to fully be fully accepted and trusted, you must work hard. Work yourself to the very bone. Well, that's so. There's no time like the present. The Lord of the Woods Cleaver is descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's own power. No other Pokemon you've met encounter could compare to his strength. Be warned. Listen to me. Well, in the next video, thanks for watching. Until next time, to be continued, baby.